In this video I will be showing you how to replace the fluid in your differential. So this should work from uh, cars from 1968 all the way to 1979. Uh, the 1980 to 1982 Corvettes, it should be very very similar but the differential will look a little bit different. We're working on this 1976 maroon car. It's a project car but uh, one thing the customer wanted me to do was replace the differential fluid. The stuff that you're going to need is a crescent wrench to open the diff. You're going to need a sucker gun. And then you're also going to need about two quarts of uh, gear oil and some uh, lubricant additive to put in it. Now, many people will tell you it doesn't matter what you put in these differentials, but the only stuff I put in them is AC Delco uh, gear oil and AC Delco additive. Here are the part numbers so you guys can buy some of the stuff on your own. I get mine from Amazon, that's the cheapest place. But here's the thing, don't go cheap on this. I've had literally hundreds of people tell me I put this stuff in and it quieted down my differential. It stopped popping, it stopped making noise. This is the stuff you want to put in. Don't go cheap and buy just the stuff from AutoZone or O'Reilly's put this stuff in. Getting here underneath uh, the car, it's much easier to do this with the spare tire carrier out of the way, so if you have a little bit extra time, uh, go ahead and take that out. This one luckily was already out, so it gives me kind of a, you know, more of a view of what we're gonna do. First thing you wanna do is remove the plug. Uh, to me, this is easily done with a crescent wrench. Sometimes they're at an odd angle, but you just wanna break it free just like that. So this one looks like it's been leaking actually. Maybe it's been opened before which probably has been. Also put a drip pan underneath just in case something wants to come out. When these are full they should be pretty much draining. Um, we'll see what this one looks like. Another tip is pretty much get the do this after you drive it around, get the differential oil hot, and it will come out a little bit easier. This one I can't do it because the brakes are shot. And I don't want to, you know, I want to wreck it. Alright, so nothing came out, which is pretty normal. What you can do is you can stick your finger in it, and there is oil on my finger. Next, you want to take your sucker gun, and it's really self-explanatory. Point it toward the bottom and pull the pin. And then you take it. That doesn't look as good as I thought. So this is what the diff oil looks like in this. pretty gross and really it's just rinse and repeat The capacity for one of these rear ends is about a quart and a third. You're not going to be able to get all of it out using that sucker gun, but you just get as much as you possibly can. A lot went on the floor, a lot's probably still in the gun, but I'm going to put it in this bottle just to see about how much we got out. So it looks like, well, there you go. There's one quart, and there's about a third. It'd be nice to get about a half, but 
either way, between what's in the gun and what's still in the bucket, I'm sure it would have gotten there eventually. But that tells me we have enough out to put our new stuff in. Next, it's time to put in the oil. So what I like to do is I like to open this, this jug up. Take the cap off, put on one of these caps that has the end on it, and then I'm going to put about half of the bottle in. Once I do that, I'm going to take this additive, add it to my other half that's still in here, shake it up really good, and then put that in. Once that's done, we can break out our second bottle and then fill it up until it runneth over. That's about half. Of When you put the second bottle in, you're just going to fill it until it starts overflowing and you'll see it come out of this hole. It'll go pretty quick. And there it is. That's it. Right there. And that is how it's done. And there it is. We have a little under half that's left. And that's how you swap out the oil on a C3 Corvette.